What is going on, lads? We're back. All we seem to be doing at the moment is reviews, but there's so many player packs. And I know you guys are always asking me for doing the reviews. So I do appreciate you guys getting in touch and the feedback and everything. So I am going to do this one a little bit differently just to switch things up. I am going to give a couple of alternatives and show you guys. There's a lot of newcomers coming into the game since eFootball 23's 2.1 update came out. And obviously FIFA is out as well. So let me know what you guys are playing. Are you still playing eFootball 23? Are you playing FIFA? Are you doing a mix of both? Um, obviously, there's a lot of games coming out in the next couple of weeks and months. So it is going to be an interesting time for eFootball, especially as we go towards that November big update, uh, which will be coming at the, I think, the middle of November. But for this today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Arsenal club pack that, announced, that was released a couple of days ago. So this is available to purchase as an optional club pack for 900 coins. Now, we previously have talked about the Bayern Munich and the Barcelona editions. We've done the Manchester United one. We have the AC Milan. We've literally every pack done now for the clubs. This pack actually released before similar um, without the players, obviously, that have joined in the summer. So you wouldn't have had Saliba. You would have had like a legend Saka or whatever. But for this one, for the 900 coins, um, it is kind of a, the same as what released last year, except with a couple of different players. So they are the full players that you have here. I'm not going to focus on every single player because like I don't want this video being 20 minutes where we go into in-depth stuff with it. And a lot of the time, like a lot of the players have kind of archetypes. That's archetypes. That's the kind of way I'd look at it. So like the likes of Smith Rowe and Zinchenko and this guy Vieira, I mean, they're not going to really be any different than their standard versions too much. It's more about kind of the other players, even this guy Gabriel at the back. Like he's not going to be... Like, if you are buying this pack, I would say the only reason you'd be buying these club packs is either you are a fan of the club, if you're an Arsenal supporter, obviously, or else you're looking for a specific player. So for me, I bought the Manchester United pack because I wanted Cristiano Ronaldo, number one. I wanted Martinez's version of him that came out. I am going to be doing a past and present Manchester United team. And I, as I said, I wanted Cristiano Ronaldo, so it saved me a lot of GP, even though I have a ton of GP. But it's about getting specific versions of the cards. So if you missed out on the previous pack, I think that this is a definitely a good one for Arsenal fans. But if you're looking just to bolster your squad, there's some really, really good players in here. So for the likes of Salabat, Zinchenko, Smith Rowe, and Gabriel, and Vieira, I've kind of covered these guys. I've covered Salabat. Zinchenko is just going to be your traditional left back. He doesn't have amazing stats, but he will be just kind of like you know, you're running the middle left back. He doesn't have anything that ma makes him excellent, but he will fill a hole for you if you want to have a full Arsenal squad. The same with Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe is actually a bit of a beast. You can play him AMF. He's a very good AMF. Obviously, he's not going to be as good as Odegaard. He does have unwavering form, which is a huge plus for him. He has 25 levels that he can go up. I would say the big problem with him is that he's neither here nor there in terms of defensive or attacking. He is a creative playmaker, so he's not box to box. And I just feel personally that if you are going to be having a player such as this in your team, you need to have the top class guys like Pedri, De Bruyne, Odegaard. You know? So if you do get Odegaard here, you are potentially probably going to play Gabby Martinez on the left flank. And then you're going to probably play Smith Rowe on the right flank. And that's kind of how you'll go with it. That's how I would set up. And then you'll have Odegaard through the middle, right? So again, Odegaard has got all the stats that Smith Rowe has. He's not as fast as him, but he has got more levels. And he has got better base stats for where you need him in that midfielder role. If he's going to be a luxury pair, player for you, like if you if you can afford to get a player like Odegaard in your team or De Bruyne in your team that you don't need a box-to-box -box player or a, a versatile engine in midfield, um, then I definitely think Odegaard is the one to go for. So as I said, there is a couple of guys to focus on here. We are going to go over to eFootball DB in a minute. Obviously, we've talked about Saliba, one of the player of the years at the moment for Arsenal and in the Premier League. Arsenal are absolutely flying it at the moment. So their player form is going to be extremely high. You look at all the player forms here, it's littered with Bs and As and a couple of Cs and Ds as well with Gabriel with a D. But from next week, you would expect this to shoot up to a couple of As. You'll definitely have Sack on an A. I think you'll have uh, Jesus on an A, Odegaard on an A. You'll probably have Saliba on a B as well as Mar Martinelli will probably be on an A. Tommy Asu will probably be on a B or an A. So this is going to be a good pack to launch in with, right? So we are going to go over to eFootball DB. As I said in a previous video, Get some feedback in for eFootballDB because there is going to be a huge overhaul of it. A load of new features, new design for it as well to make it a little bit more easier to use. Um, but we are going to head over and start at the start. As I said, Saliba is an absolute monster in the game. His standard card is a beast as well. So definitely jump on him. You can just slot him in, no problem, and train him up as normal. 
But for the rest of the cards, we are going to go over to eFootball DB and check them out. So first up, we do have Saka, who goes to a 94 overall. Look at these stats, 88 speed, 94 acceleration. And then you've got dribbling and passing, which is quite solid. His dribbling is excellent. He's got un unwavering form. Obviously, there was a Legend Edition card that came out of Saka. If you didn't jump on that, this is the one to go for. I think it's, it's a phenomenal card. Now, when we actually line him up with his standard card, you get pretty identical stats, right? So you've got 88 and 94 for the speed and acceleration, the ball control. Obviously, the standard card isn't as good, as well as the balance and stuff like that, and stamina is identical, but mostly it's about, like, kind of the finishing and stuff, and also the passing. You'll see there the discrepancy in the passing and the dribbling, but again, yeah, Saka is a phenomenal card. I definitely think he is one of the best right-sided midfielders in the game, slash right winger. Lightning fast, unbelievable pace. I think Anthony... And maybe Diaz are probably better wingers than Bele, Coleman and Sané. But I think that he is definitely up there with one of the meta uh, right backs or right midfielders or right wingers, I should say. Because he can kind of track back a little bit as well. Next up, we've got Odegaard. Now, we spoke about Odegaard before. And he has had a good lot of cards. So he had the player of the week card. Um, he's had his standard edition and he's had the obviously the last club pack that they released for Arsenal, which was the premium club pack with Saka as the legend. Again, you just have to look at the stats, man. His speed is very, very nice for a creative midfielder. With a creative midfielder, you're not expecting somebody like Kante or Vieira to be covering every blade of grass or Camavinga or one of those boys like uh, Bellingham. You're looking for a guy that can just pick a pass. And because I think V2.1 has slowed down by maybe 5 five to 6%, um, obviously it's still kind of fast-paced and triangles and stuff. I would like to see it slow down a little bit more. You will have a bit more luxury on the ball using Odegaard than you would with just like Vieira or Makalele or someone like that. You know, that's just literally just a machine in the middle of the field. Excellent stats above the board, um, across the board, I should say. The same can be said about Jesus. Uh, Gabriel Jesus or Jesus, he is unbelievable, he's having an, a, an incredible year for Arsenal so far, um, he actually came out in the Man City club pack, but this card is far superior, because you've got 29 levels, brings it up to a 94 overall, and if you have a look at these stats, now, for people that are kind of thinking, do I have to buy these packs, is there alternatives out there that can compete, yes, I mean, look at Jamie Vardy here, right, forget about his D form at the moment, look at his actual individual stats, which is where it's all about, 90 offensive awareness, 87 speed, 88 acceleration and 86 finishing right you look at gabriel speed 87 90 acceleration but his finishing isn't as good and his offensive awareness isn't as good vardy is 76,000 gp lads you can genuinely get that in an hour's gameplay if you if you wanted to go out and get vardy now he's obviously on d form but i'm just using him him as an example next up we've got ramsdale don't need to spend too much time on him because he just has 91 reflexes and 90 reach which is a phenomenal uh, stat to have for a keeper his standard edition is only 70,000 gp so if you don't spin for the or if you don't open this pack you get his standard edition he's one of the better keepers in the game we look at martinelli here as well absolutely flying it was brilliant against liverpool the other day 89 speed 94 acceleration brilliant ball control brilliant dribbling let down slightly by his finishing as a winger but with the way i play i'm not going to really need him finishing all i want is balance acceleration and dribbling he has that in buckets and last but not least we have tommy asu who i am going to be comparing and showing you guys again if you are looking for a free gp comparison or a free gp alternative i have you covered as well as we like to do in these videos tommy asu absolutely insane stats you might look at him and you might think ah he's a very kind of normal looking right is uh, right back center back right but the thing i like about him is he actually goes up to a 94 uh center back so if you're going to be getting a player like this into your squad you're going to be probably at it like a 96, 97 with a 100 game plan. If you have the form arrow, which at the moment he is a C, but he will shoot up after his performance against Liverpool, you would imagine, next week. Um, he's going to be in a position where you're going to be able to probably get that speed up to 85, get his defensive awareness up to 90 with the form arrow. His defensive engagement, tackling and aggression are all going to be in the 90s. So for that actual like right back position, it is kind of a troubling position to have sometimes unless you've got a meta right back such as Kimmich, I would say, um, or Maldini or Cafu, obviously being the, being the ultimate one. I think Tommy Asu is a phenomenal player. But as I said, if you are looking to say free to play, and you don't want to buy this pack, but you want the players that are alternatives to these that compare very well, have a look at Wan-Bissaka, right? 
Wambasaka's speed and acceleration and his on-ball stuff is very similar to Tomiyasu, apart from the ball control. Passan doesn't really need it as a right back. His offensive awareness doesn't really need it because we are going to be having him as a defensive right back. But his defense stats are absolutely insane. 99 tackle and 97 aggression, 92 engagement and 84 defensive awareness. Speed is even more than Tomiyasu's by a good bit, 87 speed. And as I said, he is on C form, but hopefully uh, that would change. I mean, obviously he's not getting in the team at the moment for United so that is a slight concern um but both of those players have standard form so it's not really a difference so that is just a review of the Arsenal pack I think it is one of the better packs in there I think all these packs are extremely well balanced you've got three to four excellent players that can just slot into your first team to have your end of year like proper squad like your finalized starting 11 um and then you've got a couple of other like kind of like ones that I would say are not exactly um the best in their position but they definitely won't let you down like the likes of Smith Rowe, Zinchenko, Vieira, obviously Gabriel center back as well. So let me know if you guys are going to get this pack. I know a lot of people have been asking me. Obviously Arsenal are flying in at the moment in the Premier League. So let me know if you guys are going to get this pack or which pack you actually did get. I'll be back quite soon with another review um and more importantly more gameplay and a couple of this the showdown subscribers. So if you guys want to get involved in that watch out for when I announce when I'm opening up the lobbies for that. It'll be first come first serve for the first event so yeah that'll be entertaining so i will talk to you in a bit lads peace